So good morning and welcome to our fourth annual Manufacturing Summit. You are in for a great day today. We have innovation, we have technology, we have entrepreneurism alive in manufacturing. You're going to hear about a number of these examples today. U.S. remains one of the largest manufacturing countries in the world. The focus is on innovation and quality, not quantity. We caught RSM representative Wendy giving really good information about the trends in the manufacturing sector, both domestically and globally, which was extremely informative. Employment is rising, but there's still significant challenges in finding that skilled workforce. The average wage in manufacturing is $85,000 in Washington State. Is that what I heard? Woo! That's awesome. It was very exciting to hear from the students who are coming up in manufacturing. My employer is going to be happy because I'm happy, and it'll just be a perfect little circle of happiness and success. <laughs> Seeing everything from the drones to the robotics um, and the rover, an amazing time. So somebody start us off by telling us what's the biggest thing that you face today that's causing competitiveness issues for you? Hearing from the AWB folks themselves was actually really fascinating, hearing where the workers' compensation is going, not just in Washington but in Oregon. What exactly is going on with healthcare and the ACA and what are we seeing that's affecting the business both positively and negatively that they're fighting on our behalf? This is when Ray gets really excited, so watch out. The only way we can limit concussion is limiting exposure. And that's where this tool comes in. We saw a lot of different success stories today from the sports technology to the cider company. The cider gentlemen from Schilling were amazing hearing how they went from their garage to building up the organization they have. There's got to be a way to take uh, the products we have in our backyard, especially here in Washington growing 90% of the country's apples, and take those and turn it into a quality product but yet hit a price point that's in line with craft beer. If you don't get this perfectly, this will continue to ferment and in a nice closed container you have a pipe bomb. That is something you need to solve. The next part of this program deals with our annual manufacturing awards. This is a great opportunity for us to come together each year to celebrate some of the leading and innovative manufacturing companies located here in Washington State. It was a great opportunity to come and hear about a lot of the exciting things that are happening in our state as well as connect with manufacturers, service providers. I can take what I learned at this conference in my daily job, go back and talk to every business owner, every operational manager, every shipping manager that I meet in the next year and say, I know an organization that can help you. You get a variety of pieces from this, not only the networking perspective of sitting with your peers, hearing what's going on, the challenges they're having, uh, the legislative piece so you know that what's coming up and what the AWB is doing, fight for you and help you as a manufacturer. All in all, it was a very beneficial, a very beneficial experience today. I'm really happy that I came.